the new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms. Hello. Right. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to the new channel, Our Passion Transforms, a community that sees all things new. I am Sunny Haldon and I am streaming live from San Jose, California. And this is Heidi Haldon streaming live from Talisay City, Cebu. Welcome to Money and More. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the show. Heidi, how are you? I'm very good, but I'm so sorry. I'm, I might get cut off in a, once in a while. I have a very bad connection in here. But uh, mm -hmm. while it's there, let's go yeah. on with the show. How are you, Sunny? It's uh, malamig na ba dyan? Malamig because of the rains, no? So we have... Uh, Meron, meron tayong uh, historical flood dito sa California. Uh, it's been raining for the past three weeks. And um, yeah, get, getting into the parang in the tail end na. Uh, we're already at the tail end of this uh, itong diluvio na to. So we're looking forward to uh, better weather na this uh, um, this week. Yeah. So, Sana pagdaong namin maganda yung weather, no? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, so uh, and obvious ba na kung medyo maginaw dito. <laughs> but it's a uh, it's uh, it's always uh, it's always a great morning to uh, it's always a great day. It's always a great day to start talking about uh, new things uh, and new technologies. And that is exactly what we have right now. Here's uh, uh on on the show now. Um, so. The, the buzzword for the past two years now, especially in the realm of, uh, of, of emerging technologies, would be the, let's say, the, 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 the proliferation no? of, um, 
of what we call uh, the use of the, the blockchain, um, cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. Uh, na yan, Heidi, no? Yes, and, I do. Um, and NFTs, no? And um, there's a great potential, no? potential for these emerging technologies like this no? to, um, let's say, to change the way that we do business and the way that we, uh, and uh, the way that we go our, do our business, no? And um, here on the show tonight, we have uh, a very special guest who will talk to us about a very unique thing, no? Um, this is going to be the Philippines' first uh, tourism NFT. Parang uh, tourism NFT. I agree, I agree. No, I am yeah. very excited for tonight's um topic because it's something mm-hmm. new it's very unique and we are very privileged to have um, our guest tonight the founder of air media nft and chargal nft we have on the show mr david james gomez hi guys good evening hi uh, david right. <laughs> Thank Parang ikaw lang connection ngayon na. <laughs> Thanks for having me, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good night to all the viewers uh, <laughs> watching live and at replay. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, great to have you on the show, uh, uh, James, no? and I hope you're well, Jensa Manila. Right? We're glad to have you here. Um, how would you introduce yourself to our, to our audience? Let them know a little bit about you. Yeah, um, so basically, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a hotelier, so uh, we have a family business in two resorts. And I started my own resort in Shergao back in uh, 2018. So yun talaga yung start ng journey ko. And then um, when pandemic happened, um, that's the time I explored more into crypto. Mm-hmm. Um, I was able to try to play around crypto, buy some Bitcoin, um, other coins, and tried NFTs. Mm-hmm. Um, that was the time when our resorts are all closed down because it's pandemic. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was able to, you know, learn a lot about uh, the industry, um, Web3, crypto. So I started this company called uh, Air Media NFT. So mm-hmm. basically, Air Media NFT is an NFT studio. It's mm-hmm. an end-to-end Web3 studio that helps, you, you know, we, we onboard brands and IP and companies. To okay. go to a switch from web two to web three, right? So, yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, this is our first time uh, in the show that uh, we would have a guest that will talk about um, uh, a business that is linked to crypto to the blockchain. No, ang sinasabi natin ng blockchain. And uh, you mentioned that uh, you're interested in in in, in this no? in blockchain, crypto, and NFTs happened uh, during the during the pandemic um like maybe for many of us who were also on lockdown no because this was something that was happening online and nakatutok tayo sa online no so we had plenty of exposure kung ano ito and there are still plenty of uh, let's say uh inchan misinformation and uh, um questions no about uh, about this emerging uh, emerging technology all right so you're a hotelier in one hand, and you have the blockchain and uh, crypto. What's what's what? How did this idea of putting these these two together, no, um, tourism and the blockchain technology together? Yeah, because you know, ever since I started with hotels, I'm we always want to move forward, and we always, we always want, want to, to uh, be at advance uh, compared to competitors. So normally, I remember before a few. Uh, decades mm. ago, pasikat yung OTAs or online travel mm. agency. We were able okay. to be one of the pioneers to enter Booking.com, Agoda, this and that. So ah. now that we're going into a new phase and transformation from Web2 to Web3, um, mm. I want to pioneer this uh, thing in tourism where imagine people booking rooms, staying in, in resorts uh, by just using their NFTs, uh, okay. using the blockchain. So, so yon, uh, I was able to think of why not convert the resort in Chargao, uh, play around with it, and try to to create like real life utilities and value 
So um, it's something new. Um, mm. It's not uh, not everyone knows about it yet, but this is a good start. So it's quite similar to how the internet was back in the 90s. Okay. Um, I'm sure a lot of people were like, they're not sure what, what happens to the internet. So similar right. then with this one, uh, we're in the Web3 space and it's quite an unfamiliar ground yet, but you know, slowly people are trying to get into it, try, trying to learn a little bit more about it. So that's it. Uh, tourism and crypto, NFT, I tried to merge it and um, play around with it. Yeah, that's something very unique, no? And I understand that this has not been launched yet, no? Uh, we not are yet. one of those. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So anyway, Angaling. So can you tell us more about Shargao Villa NFT? Yeah, so basically Shargao Villa NFT, uh, it's the very first uh, Web3 crypto resort uh, in the Philippines, uh, giving holders rewarding timeshare utilities in the island. So it's Baguche. It's a community-owned uh, resort operating through uh, DAO management. So all the holders will be the one saying, okay, the next step for this resort, let's put a pool um, with a heart shape, something like that. So it gives holders dividends from room sales and revenue through staking. So it's a community-owned, fractionalized, rewarding timeshare model. And okay. it's very exciting. It's limited only to 300 pieces. Um, it will be on Ethereum blockchain. And the minting date will be on February 19. Um, sorry, next slide, please. Pagita natin. Oh. Maganda siya. It's uh, there. So own a piece of Shargao by owning this NFT. So normally, kasi when you purchase an NFT right now, uh, based on my experience, when I bought my first NFT two, three years ago, uh, people just uh, think of the NFT that the value will increase uh, based on the token value or based on right. the popularity of the artist. But there's no real utility that you can use. Um, that you can, I mean, if if even if the crypto is down with this NFT, you can fly to Shargao and book a villa for your family, yourself, and your friends. So this is the very first um, NFT that gives you that kind of utility. So mm -hmm. imagine um, owning this N NFT, and then you can actually also get room sales revenue from it. So mm -hmm. I'll show you the chart of the benefit and utilities. All right, let's take a look at that. Again, um, so number one is you get a full membership package. So if okay. you purchase this NFT, it's one Ethereum on the uh, pre-mint or whitelist. And then it's going to be 1.8 Ethereum on uh, public sale. So for the viewers, one Ethereum right now is around $1,500, ranging around that price. Um, so with that, you get 10 nights free accommodation yearly for the next 10 years. So that's one benefit and utility. The second one is you get to choose a free island tour every year. So you can choose one. Let's say this year we want to go to Naked Island. Next year we want to go to Pugba Lagoon. So that's also part of the utility. Third one is... Let's say you're not in the Philippines, you're in the U.S., you're in Europe, um, you don't live here, but you bought the NFT. You can stake the NFT. So we'll be creating this staking app, staking app that people can stake the NFTs and earn a percentage of the room revenue by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So that goes for 10 years. Um the staking DAP and the room revenues will start on the third year of operation. So for short, after we do the minting right now, we will improve the resort. Uh, we will do a lot of improvements and all, and we will start already operating it. And the fourth uh, utility is the DAO or the Centralized Autonomous Organization. So this is quite new also. Um, oh. Imagine the holders, uh, there's 300 NFTs. One holder can maximum, uh, they can purchase maximum of three NFTs. 
So it brings you, it boils down to around 100 to 120 holders uh, ang magiging owners nito. So imagine that 120 holders will do voting rights uh, to all the improvements. Let's say, for example, do we want to paint the wall green or blue? So all the holders will now vote. Do they, do they want green or blue? And then next, we'll put a restaurant. Do you want a Thai food, uh, Chinese food, American food, or Filipino food? So all the holders will also do the voting process. So everyone is um, everyone is involved. Um, well, at least 50 plus one. Because I'm sure a lot are just taking and, you know, they'll just leave it there and maybe open open it again after eight years and see the value of it. So... And of course, the fifth one is um, with Air Media NFT, and me personally, I believe that this can be a driving force for social impact. Um, I've been always helping people, helping um, not just random people, but uh, everyone. I, I love helping. So, uh, twenty percent of the proceeds of this project will go to a charitable institution in Shargao which will also be chosen by all the holders of around 120. And a 3% royalties from trading this NFT will also go to them. Okay. So, yeah. And of course, last but not the least, uh, we will be launching an NFPT. It's called Non-Fungible Property Tokens in 2026. So that will be the real estate it will be a real estate NFT tokens that will be released um, soon. So if you have this NFT, this current Shargao NFT, you'll be able to buy that that uh, NFT line sale in the future. So it will be different. Um, in real estate, we're, we're going to transform tourism, real estate, and uh, this industry. So imagine instead of buying your land or property from agents, now mm -hmm. you can purchase purchase it already in the blockchain through NFTs using cryptocurrency. Okay. So I think that will be the, the future. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yung number five, um, David, uh, the charitable institution that will be um, the only char okay. charitable institution that, that you will uh, be um, giving proceeds to or that will change every year okay so for the charitable institutions um that it changes every year actually so mm -hmm. you will choose in shargao um because the, we have a lot of uh charitable institutions in shargao that needs help not just uh during the odette but also like it's it's ongoing until now uh we have like for example we have the aitas um, we have the surfing community, the young kids who need support in their surfing journey. Uh, we have mm -hmm. Sea Shiny Rangao, the kids who don't have books. Um, they, they don't have adult, like they don't have clothing and uh, slippers and all. So uh, also education in the island and medical help. Um, right now, uh, there's no like huge hospitals yet for for. Uh, in Shargao. So I think that's what we want to achieve here. Um, this is a small scale project, but imagine if this becomes successful, mm -hmm. we can actually create an NFT for a, to build a, a hospital there <laughs> and, and also in other areas in the Philippines. So um, actually, that's one of the purpose why uh, we're doing this. Uh, it's not for the money. It's not for fame. It's basically to test the grounds and see the capabilities of NFT and blockchain and how it can help the Philippines, especially far islands uh, that mm -hmm. are not seen. So, yeah. Well, well, certainly the promise of, the potential promise of uh, using blockchain now is the decentralization and the democratization of, uh, of, of services and businesses now. And uh, that's uh, actually pretty, it, it's really exciting now to have a real world application on something that is, as, as you mentioned, uh, that is digital, non fungible. No? Because a lot of the things that are, there, there is an actual resort. In other words, there is an actual resort 
an actual physical resort in Chergao that you can use uh, that an investor, an investor would be able to uh, invest in, you know, but using uh, using using block te blockchain technology. So that's very interesting because right now, applications for 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 blockchain NFTs or even crypto is uh, is kind of limited, no? Kay, kay dito sa dito sa US now limited pa masyado yung kwan, yung yung use because there's no let's say physical assets to 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 back it up because it's right. it's blockchain it's 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 in the air parang ganun, no? so you, you yeah. have a you have a you have a digital footprint but with what you with with the uh, with the Chicago villa nft you have an actual physical resort that uh, and that you invest into all right that's interesting that's also probably what's uh, where the future is happening no kung saan po papunta yung uh, ang, ang future so hmm. uh interesting application to the uh, to the promise of uh ano, of, of blockchain of blockchain technology that's great and right. of course i want to add uh this is not for everyone I'm sure a lot of, uh, even in the crypto and NFT world, most of them, they just want to trade easily and just right. buy low, sell high. You know, mm -hmm. they do trading and also, if you're that kind of a uh, crypto person, then I don't think this is for you. Because if for me, this is for the long term. Um, mm -hmm. We need investors. We want investors. We want um, people who really value uh, this project. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think it will be very successful because it's it's the first in the industry, um, yeah, and it's exciting. Exciting times, now. So we'll be talking about that more, no? Uh, we'll be talking about that more uh, when we come back uh, about this business concept, no? And when we come back uh, from this uh, short commercial break. Greenfield District, the future ready district, home to Greenfield Tower with its state of the art fiber optic internet backbone. 
connectivity is built right into residences like Twin Oaks Place. 15 flourishing hectares right at the heart of Metro Manila so that at work and at play, we can plant a future where dreams grow. Greenfield District, the future ready district. The new channel is an online alternative new media platform for online shows for people on the go. Please watch all our shows as seen on the screen. Imagine having your own show, your own playlist, your own content, but we make it easier for you. TNC aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging, authentic, and original content. Our channel is a responsible global 24-7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, cultural intelligence, and ingenuity. You can watch Money and More uh, live uh, or on replay via Facebook or YouTube every Tuesdays at uh, 8.30 p.m. Philippine time or 4.30 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Follow us on IG. Listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Just search for hashtag TNC now. For sponsorships, please email now at the new channel or send us a DM. Enjoy these life-changing shows because we made them for you. All right, we're back. Hi. All right. So yeah, we are back. Uh, welcome back, Heidi. So, <laughs> and we are yeah. back. Very challenging your connection, Kodita. But anyway, we are, we're back in Money and More on TNC. And we are here with the founder of Shargal Villa NFT, Dave James Gomez. All right. So uh, hello. Um, hello, Sir James. No? So we began this discussion on uh, on uh Char our Shargao villa nft no and it's a, a very interesting discussion on uh, on uh, how we actually use no um this new technology no, for for something tangible no uh, i'm sure our audience has uh, questions about this business model primarily how is this differentiated no? how is this different from let's say a regular timeshare All right a uh, timeshare uh, membership uh, a regular normal timeshare kasi diba um, mm -hmm. He would pay a lot of dues, like he would okay. pay association dues, maintenance cost, taxes, blah blah blah. And then, let's say sometimes you use it, sometimes you don't. Um, but you, know, you don't really get to stake it, or yeah. So for this one, the difference between uh, the normal timeshare and this one is uh, with this one you don't have to pay all of those costs. So once okay. you mint it, once you mint it. At one Ethereum, that's it. Uh, no more extra hidden costs and others. So I think mm -hmm. that's one. The second is um, we're, we're using blockchain. So it's a new technology. Um, we're saving uh, a lot of... Uh, we're saving the environment, actually, by, by not uh, uh, doing other stuff. Like, yung iba kasi, diba, they invite you for dinner and then they talk to you for a long time and then uh hingan ka malaking investment and then they're gonna act in the end until how much can you go and <laughs> yeah so at least this one it's a one go project and uh, it's seamless uh transparent to everyone and yeah it's something new it's amazing it's an nft but it's cool yeah right. so I mean, yeah you are also promoting tourism right so you made mention earlier and uh 
how does this new uh, business model um, benefit no, uh, sa tur tourism sector? Well, I think uh, we're in the Philippines. We're an archipelago. So there's a lot of islands here. And one of our contributors in our GDP is uh, not just OFW remittances, mm -hmm. but also um, tourism. So since we launched this project, actually, a lot of resorts owners all around the Philippines called me up. Um, there's one in uh, Sikihor, one in Davao, one in... A lot of them are want to they want to copy this kind of trend because they want to promote their establishment because 2023 is already a, a travel free zone for all of the countries in the world so they want to take advantage of it so I think one big advantage to help tourism is to uh, make this a new technology in getting more bookings worldwide. Uh, to promote uh, the blockchain and NFT all around the world. So a lot of foreign investors would uh, come here and try to visit our beautiful islands here in the Philippines. We have 7,107 islands. And normally, they only know a few, Boracay, Palawan, Bohol, diba? So imagine if we maximize all of our islands and turn it into a real gem and create more you know, more economy for our country. Yeah. Kumusta naman ang, ang uh, because there's an actual physical resort in sa Siargao, am I right? So, kumusta naman ng Siargao uh, right now? Oh, yeah. Uh, like, like, uh, what After Philippine a Philippine people are, we're Basically. resilient. Yeah. Um, we're back. So there have been around siguro mga one year of trying to rebuild the whole island. But now, uh, Siargao is booming. Uh, mm -hmm. The bars and restaurants are all open. Okay. Um, there's still a lot of developments going on. Malls, mm -hmm. warehouses, resorts. Um, it's it's going to be, it's going to go up from now. And uh, there's no slowing down. And I think it's the perfect time to, to invest in Siargao. Okay. So let's say I'm an interested. I'm interested now, no, in uh, in uh, uh, in obtaining this uh, this NMP. What are the steps that I need to take to be able to invest in this venture? So step number one is to follow our Twitter. Um, it's okay. at NFT Shargao. Uh, you'll know all the all the details and all the uh, updates there, and then also follow us in our Discord. Okay. Yeah, so our Discord, this is very important for, for Web3. It's discord.gg slash NFT. So we'll be having uh, weekly sessions for uh, beginners or newbies. We're going to teach you how to, what is NFT, Crypto 101, how to mint an NFT, um, how to create a Binance wallet, how to purchase cryptocurrency, how to purchase Ethereum, how to create your MetaMask, and also how to protect yourself from from scammers and how to um, to know that what what you're dealing with is a legit um, company. So just follow us in Discord, Shargao NFT, and Twitter uh, at NFT Shargao, and also our Instagram uh, Air Media Air Media PH. There you go. And in Facebook, it's uh, G Villa Shargao. So follow our Web Three NFT Resort. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I know there are also a lot of questions about um, potential rewards and risks. So, what are what what are the possibilities? Where of uh, well, of course, uh, there's a lot of uh, potential um, pros here. And when it comes to risk, I think it's more on calculated risk. So. Um, yeah, number one, uh, one one of the benefits are you can travel to Chargao anytime and use your stay. And I haven't two, been there. <laughs> ayun, let's go. And then number two, instead of putting your money, if you have extra money, instead of putting it in the bank that gives you a really low uh, interest rate, at least with this one, um, you can invest in crypto, you can invest in this new technology blockchain, and at the same time, uh, get an ROI, a huge profit, uh, years from now so 
it's that's why I said calculated risk because um, of course we calculate before we invest and as long as you do your own research you know that the company behind it is a legit one um, there's an actual resort uh, right there already uh, going on so and and also you have to check if the founders and the team behind it are real because most of the projects in the space are just um, they don't even show their face and they're just uh, in, in the background so yeah I think uh, do your own research is very uh, important for risk management in this kind of investments right because as we said now um, whenever there's a disruption no, in, uh, in in when there, whenever there's a disruption people tend to become skeptical no? Correct. and especially for uh, especially for uh, emerging technologies like I mean matagal na siya, pero I, it was only during the the pandemic that uh, it blew up into the mainstream right um, in crypto and and even NFTs, medyo malabo pa mga tao about uh, what a non-fungible token is, right? So, well, to be um, honest, I was scammed. You know, when I was starting in the space, mm -hmm. I was scammed. Okay. I, I joined this NFT back in uh, 2020, 2020, 2021. My first few NFTs were a failure. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> talagang dadaanan mo yon, And uh, based on that, doon ako natuto. I, I learned how to look at projects. Mm -hmm. So, so most of those scam NFTs are they don't have a real founder behind behind the project. Mm -hmm. They don't have real life businesses, or they don't even show their faces in interviews like this. So, mm -hmm. um, it's really yun yung my important na factor. Because if you only think of um, yung FOMO or fear of missing out, right? Nah, you know all of your friends are buying this NFT because it's trending on Twitter. If you do that, then there's a big opportunity that you you fail. But you you really have to study who's the founder, who's the team behind it. Do they have an office? Is the is the resort real? Is Shargao a real island? Because marami ako nang kita um, online that you know they're selling an island uh, out in Bahamas and that, and then in the end. You don't even know if that's real or baka it's a virtual right. beat in the metaverse. Right? So right. At point, what, we're, what we're doing is uh, it's in Chargao, it's in Mindanao, and it's a beautiful, it's a paradise. Um, right. I actually fell in love with that, with Chargao Island back in 2018. So it, it's oh. really magical. <laughs> you have to go, you have to go there. We should, we should. Yeah. You know, but 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 tayo ni na natutuloy sa Shargao no? ang tagal-tagal na natin plina no? na Shargao, oh, Shargao. Okay. Oh, naman ang nangyari sa life events natin na instead of Shargao we went every other else no? saan ba tayo? So, no? yeah. so bibigyan ko kayo ng white list uh, bibigyan oh. ko kayo ng white list so it's, it's a <laughs> reservation for the NFT so you can purchase one Shargao Villa NFT <laughs> Right. Wow, that's, that's, that's so the name of the resort in in Shargao is G Villa, is that right? G Villa Shargao. G Villa. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just curious, uh, David, because uh, you made during our off cam interview, uh, you made mention that you have a resort in um, Boracay and in Tagaytay, right? Yes. Why did you choose to? Um, uh why did you choose Shargao for this particular project and not with Boracay and Tagaytay and even Sikihor? I love Sikihor. Yeah. Well, um well Boracay uh it, it's called Fat Jimmy's Resort. Uh my father started that. Uh we have mm -hmm. a kid. So um that's his business and um uh, Eight Suites Tagaytay naman. It's a combination of my dad and my business. So that was my thesis in college. But my dad was the one who um, lent. Uh, he was the financier uh, for that. <laughs> so, to be honest, uh, of course, syempre, uh, it's it's his, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. But Chargao is my own. So I think I can be free on what I want to do with it. If I want to make it a crypto NFT resort, then... I have the free hand of um, 
um, playing around with with the whole concept. Um, and also at the same time, Shargao is really known right now in all over the world. It was uh, voted top one in Condé Nast uh, yeah. back in uh, 2019, 2020. Yeah. So, yeah. So I, I think if uh, you haven't been to Shargao, I think you need to buy this NFT and then go to visit Shargao every year. Pag-usapan na. Ay, eto pala. Pwede ba yung ano, um, multi-ownership, meaning more than one partnership to to own, to buy and sorry ah, hindi ako masyadong familiar but okay, so when you buy yeah so basically uh if you buy the nft it goes to a wallet it goes mm. to a, 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 a wallet a crypto wallet so it's really up to you uh your friends siguro pwede kayong mag-usap ng friends you know that you will use your wallet mm-hmm. and then internally kayo na lang magpasa-pasa ng you can just borrow the NFTs if you want. Oh, yeah. pwede pala yun. Pwede naman yun. Yeah, it's up to you. Or let's say one family can just purchase one NFT using one wallet. Pwede naman yun. All right. But the, the maximum uh, ownership that one wallet can do is three. So yung iba, three. they already plan on using one and staking the two. So, yung isa, mm-hmm. pwede nila magamit yun yearly. And then, yung two, is stake nila yon so they can earn on room dividend sales yearly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I get into this, to- uh, then I have um, ownership into the into the resort and uh, the developments of the resort in the future. That's what you mentioned. Uh, in the expansion or in the expansion or right. changes or... Um, developments in the resort as a uh, as a token holder then I have a say or a vote mm-hmm. into the developments into this uh, and so it's really um, democratizing the right word yes. democratizing the the the, 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 pro- the process of the business no? and right. um, that's very empowering for for an investor that um, which is essentially um, the, in the spirit of uh, of uh, blockchain technology and you know, democratization and the uh, decentralization, and, uh, of, I just of, want uh, to add, yeah, yeah. So what you said, it's called decentralized. Mm-hmm. So uh, another thing compared to a normal time sharing is a normal time sharing company is centralized. So you don't mm-hmm. need to yes. know um, yeah. if the sales that they're reporting are correct or manipulated. So with this one. It's decentralized, so whatever the funds, whatever the sales of the resort, uh, it's it's open to everyone. It's transparent. Um, I just want to share the roadmap of uh, this sure. project. Yeah, maybe we can flash it. There. Um, yeah. Okay. I think it's too small for me, but I have my copy. Okay, so the roadmap uh, is basically uh, right now we're in quarter one, 2023. So okay. we're in the whitelist pre-sale and public sale. So we're launching this project on Feb 19. Um, the whitelist is going on from now until Feb 19. The meaning of whitelist is para siyang, ano, private sale. Okay. So we're launching 300 NFTs, but not it's not open to the public. Not everyone can purchase it. Purchase it. So we have also to screen each and every um, holder. So basically, it, this is not for everyone. It's not because you have one Ethereum. You have eighty-five thousand pesos. You can already purchase this. So we need to screen uh, holders uh, if they're really uh, responsible enough of, or if, if right. this is for them. So the white the whitelist uh, starts now. And then it's an ongoing construction also. And we will launch the Crypto uh, Island Philippines at G Villa Shargao this Feb 4 to 7. So we'll be there. The House of Crypto will be there. A lot of um, celebrities, influencers, and uh, crypto enthusiasts will also be there on Feb 4 to 7. So if you're in Shargao, anyone watching here, if you're in Shargao, just drop by G Villa Shargao and uh, we'll give you a free drink. Yeah, so that's open to all. 
this is open to all yes uh we're launching in Pagao. yeah on feb 4 to 7 okay. and then um so after that we will mint on feb 14 and then after minting um quarter two uh we will finish the construction of improvements the swimming very pool. briefly then, sir uh what does what does that mean minting okay minting is basically uh buying the nft so okay. steps on buying the nft step one you have to buy uh cryptocurrency in binance, binance. So, what you have to buy is ethereum so okay. after after buying it in binance so you have to open an account in binance uh, after that the next step is you have to create your metamask wallet or phantom wallet any kind of wallet uh uh, dun mo ngayon ililipat, you'll transfer now your funds from your Binance account to your MetaMask wallet. It's called a hot wallet. And then you will go to our website, the minting wow. site. And now you will mm -hmm. connect your wallet there, purchase this NFT on Feb 19, and automatically the NFT goes to your wallet. So anytime your wallet is in your cell phone. So there's an app... Uh, sample is this metamask so here's the app of the metamask okay so you just ah, press okay. NFTs. yeah and you will see the nfts there i have different nfts mm -hmm. yeah so automatically it goes to your phone and every time you go to the resort or anywhere to the restaurant there or what just show your nft and you can use it for free okay yeah so that's quarter two we'll be launching right. our membership and just taking that um and then quarter three of the year 2023 is um uh, we'll be doing a holders island in both party in shergao so all the 120 holders will be inviting them all at the same time we're gonna do a boat party um like uh, uh it's a holders island party and uh just get together get to know each other and i'm sure most of them if they cannot come because they live in another country um they can send a representative or uh, that's here and then 2024 will be the launch for the charity and staking uh there will also be <laughs> island hopping activities um by 2025, we'll, we'll be releasing dividends already to all the holders. DAO membership is already happening. And we're going to create a virtual beach in the Sandbox Metaverse. So Sandbox Metaverse is one of the metaverse, uh, famous metaverse out there. Uh, okay. We'll be buying a, a land and we'll be creating a virtual beach of Shergal in the metaverse. And of course, 2026 will be the launching of the NFT land sale uh, for beach uh, beach house owners. So if you want to invest in 2026, if you want a lot in Shargao, then this NFT is for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, the 2026 project is exclusive for uh, those who bought the NFT or that's open for everyone? Uh, this is only exclusive to those who bought the NFT. So what will happen is... 300. Yes, exclusive to oh. them only. So, so, example, you weren't able to buy the part of the 300 win. And then at 2025, you decided you want to buy a land in Shergao using this NFT. What you do is you buy from a resale. So it will be open in marketplaces like OpenSea. I'm sure definitely the 300, some some will sell, you know, eventually maybe nagamit nila yung accommodation and they just want to try a different one. People trade it. People trade the NFTs and, you know, so that's the time you buy. It's the only uh, chance they have. You, yeah. So by that time, by 2025, the cost of this might go times 10. You know, we don't know. We don't know. That's why right now, as early as now, you have to purchase it. So it you can sell it uh, in the end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so very promising. Yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah, what what what's what I like about this project is that uh you have a long term outlook, no? So I see that uh there there are projects that are happening twenty twenty five and twenty twenty six. So this is not your this is not just uh um uh something that can happen this year or a, a short term gain or uh or a short sell if you will, no. But there's actually a long term vision, no, for 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 the resort. For the investors, for the for the for the token itself, no, and uh, that's something that uh, some investors might consider. You know, what's the long term uh, sustainability of this uh, of this particular project, which I find uh, very uh, attractive. No, hindi siya hindi siya yung fashion It's physical. It's not just an air asset, right? And it's very exclusive. It's not open to everyone. Um, it's exclusive, so it's exciting. Of course, you don't want uh, to have thousands of holders divided in one resort. So. Correct, correct. There has to be some limits to that, no? Because uh, you can't have too many owners, or will it be uh, later on uh, uh, open, open to anybody? Well, we, you mentioned it; it's not for everybody because it's a, uh, it's new technology. It's uh, it's Ethereum. Uh, so there are some restrictions. So what are, um, if I'm an investor, what are some other, let's say, safeguards that we have? Well, number one, if you create your account in uh, MetaMask, and if you do your mm -hmm. Discord, uh, make sure to have a two-step authentication. Um, never engage with DMs, especially with uh, bots, or because a lot of bots and people are trying to uh, can manipulate you in in those. Uh, in those apps so just try to be uh be careful with those yeah yeah so, yeah if, so... I'm, if i'm not familiar uh of nfts and i i would want to invest on that no uh etong project na to, more or less as an ordinary uh, person in layman's term how much would um 1.8 nft cost in peso right now okay uh one ethereum right now is let's say around eighty five thousand pesos oh, so right. if oh, you purchase right. yeah one ethereum is eighty five thousand more or less um and then that's pre-sale so if you reach public sales um that's already 1.8 so you double your money uh that's already mm -hmm. around 160 more or less and then it can go up depending on Ethereum price. Because right now, Ethereum is around $1,500. Yes. Um, last year, it was one nine, almost $2,000. Um, mm -hmm. It depends. It can go down, it can go up. But mm -hmm. um, we're in the bear market now, but slowly go gearing, uh, going out. But th there's a big chance 2024, like, Quarter four, 2024 and 2025 will be the bull run. Bullish. <laughs> yeah, bullish. So uh, nowhere but right. up. Nowhere but up. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So the best time to invest is now. Now. Yeah. Now. Uh, perfect. So if if ever you, if you're uh, yung project na to or anywhere, I mean, it's it's the perfect time to jump on. Um, you can just message us in Twitter, uh, message us in our Instagram, Facebook, and if, if you need a whitelist, then uh, you can just message us and we will see. Uh, we have a team also. Uh, if you're not familiar with crypto and NFT, we have a team out there that can reach out to you and teach you how to purchase crypto, how to create your MetaMask, and also we, have, we really have a designated team for that, for this project. Um, Never pay in fiat currency. So I'm warning you, if someone else uh, gets investment uh, from you uh, using in this uh, Shargao NFT, we never get pesos. We never get uh, dollars, euros, Philippine pesos, mm -hmm. or any fiat currency, only crypto. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, very interesting uh, developments that are happening for you, Mr. Dave and congratulations on your upcoming launch uh, uh this project na? so for our audience again 
uh, the Twitter uh, the Twitter is at NFP Shiargao. You can um, get resources there if you have questions. Um, Air Media PH in IG and Facebook would be uh, G Villas Shiargao once again for more information about this very exciting new frontier na project, no? something that has never been done before. This is yeah. the Philippines' first tourism NFT. Right, and uh, if this is something that excites you, just get, get in t- contact with their team, and they will be glad to be able to answer all of your questions. All right, all right. I think that wraps right. up our our episode for tonight. Thank you very much, Mr. Dave Gomez, uh, for for being with us tonight and enlightening us now on on this wonderful um, um, development now, especially for Shergao. Um, and especially for tourism in a, in, in, as a, in the whole, no? Kasi this is where the future is happening. Isang nangyayari. Ito mga pangyayari. Maraming salamat, Mr. Dave Gomez. Do you have any, um, do you have any, let's say, message for our viewers? Or meron kang gusto yung greet? Uh, well, thanks for having me, uh, mm-hmm. Sonny and uh, Heidi. Um, for all the viewers, thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Shargao Villa NFT or crypto or anything about NFT, just follow us in airmedia.ph in Instagram. We have TikTok also, um, Shargao Villa NFT, G Villa Shargao. Follow our Discord at uh, discord.gg slash Shargao NFT. So yeah, just message us and visit our NFT gallery in Katipunan Avenue, uh, third floor in place 1205. Uh, we'll, I, I can teach you about NFT anytime. So thanks for having me. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Again, thank you, uh, David James Gomez. And looking forward to see you in Shargao soon. All right. We'll see you thank backstage you. later on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, so Heidi, uh, exciting times, no? Exciting developments for yes, it is, for... and it's uh, a learning, no? It's also a learning for me tonight, because alam mo hindi naman ako masadong uh, familiar on NFTs, but uh, uh-huh. the way that Dave has um, discussed it, ngayon parang it sets uh, different from the other NFTs, no? Because right. this is my physical, physical na asset, so yun ang maganda. Right. Yeah, so you have the promise of, uh, uh, not the promise, but like the potential of uh, Ethereum, uh, Ethereum pricing going up, no? So that's one way to grow mm-hmm. your investment. And there's an actual physical resort that uh, fund that will grow, no? And capitalizing on Shargao, as we said, as one of the premier destinations in the Philippines. So it's owning a piece, no? Of paradise. Parang, parang ito na yung kwa natin, parang... Uh, it's a sign, no, Heidi, na matutuloy-tuloy na talaga tayo sa Shargao. <laughs> okay. We have one uh, viewer. Thank you for, we have one viewer who, who commented, no, um, Mr. Kian Maliari. Never try to visit Shargao or you'll fall in love with the island. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Right. So, tingnan natin, no, kung talagang totoo yan. I'm sure it is, right? I want to experience it myself. Okay, so that is it for us here in uh, for this episode of Money More. Thank you again to Dave Gomez. And uh, despite our technical challenges, Heidi, we were able to pull it off. We did. We did. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching, everybody. This is Sunny Haldon. And this is Heidi Haldon. You are watching right. Money and More. Right. And always remember, your financial future is in your hands. hands. Okay. Good night, everybody. Have a good night.